It is flipping hot. We're patiently waiting for a hip hop. I feel like David Attenborough. Hello, guys. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am off to. Sorry, hold on. To, oh jeez, you can't see me. Whoa, <laughs> if you saw the road I'm on. Anyway, so I'm off to Janjambure. Hey, I'm going to the village, um, to this beautiful lodge. Um, so I'm going to bring you guys along with me. It's a road trip, so it's going to take me at least um, about four hours or more to get there. I'm sorry I'm not looking at you guys. I am driving. Yeah, so we're lodging the village. Um, there's a lot of activities to do. So I wanted to show you guys and finally be out here doing other things other than going to Senegambia. Do you know what I'm saying though? Anyway, I'm gonna keep driving, keep my eyes on the road, you know, no accidents and that. Anyway, see you later. <gasps> arrived finally it is flipping hot <laughs> i know you don't know that gambia is hot right but right now because it's dry season down by where i live near senegambia it's much cooler like even chilly especially at night time like it's chilly even in the daytime certain daytimes it's chilly but here because you're coming further away from from the sea and you're going deeper inland and that's why it's hot anyway we are here also let me just let you know that um coming in currently they're doing something to the road that comes in so if you are coming down i would advise you to just call the lodge just so they can direct you as to what road you'll go through you'll have to go through um the town and come round the long way because you will see the sign um as you're coming off the main like kind of highway but um, you can't use that road currently um, I'll, if anything changes I'll update you anyway so here we are I'm gonna show you camping sitter bar this is the gates so this is the road that you come from and these are like rice fields here and that's where if you can see here they are let me show you yeah they're, they're doing something to the road here trying to trying to help 
the rice fields but it's not helping access to the actual lodge it looks like you can drive down but you can't you kind of get blocked up there anyway so this is the entrance we're going in now let me put it back a bit that's it so here we go so i've got solar power here hole and you've got the lodges look how nice it's so quaint and it's so quiet here they're making some more rooms here and you've got some banana trees growing here so you've got a nice like walk pathway this is one of the lodges like this one I think it holds two rooms so you've got B B2 here and then this one is B1 and then A2, and there's A1, and then there's C1, whoops, C1, C2, there. Yeah, so I'll show you. Oh, I heard something. Oh, no, it's a little lizard. Don't know if you'll be able to see it though. Little lizard. Okay, got some visitors here, some new guests. Can you see our guests? Here's the cows. <laughs> Proper country living. Oh gosh. Okay. Okay. Oh. Go close to the boat. To the I don't want to say slave house our ancestors house so here we are so this is it here oh, yeah. oh my god okay welcome like this place here yeah do you mind if I record do you mind if I record? A video that I would like that. Maybe. Okay. It's a long one, you know. I'm going to speak. I'm, this is my job. Okay, okay. I've been here since 1996. Okay, I was okay. My father before. Yeah. But my father died at the age of 100. Yeah. But he's the one who brings the National Museum in the Gambia here. Okay. And he has his own archive, artifacts, library yeah. in his compound. Mm -hmm. And many people do used to go to him and make this argument. Oh. And me also, I learned from him. Yeah. And from the school, mm -hmm. some oral, and mm -hmm. some written history. Mm -hmm. And then we keep it. And then we to the people. Oh, cool. So, like that, I've been here since 1996. Oh, wow. Explaining it to the tourists, to them, yeah. a lot of guests who normally come here. Yeah, yeah. They, they, they kept here the, 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 they call them slaves, but they are not slaves. No. They, they just kidnap them. Yes, exactly. And then they, they take them to Europe and America and then make them there as slaves. Yes. So, they are kidnappers. They are not slave masters also. Yeah. But they are kidnappers. Yes. Come here. Yeah. Take our people, mm -hmm. take them to Europe and America, mm -hmm. and make them there as slaves. And those slaves who don't want to be slaves, so they insist to be slaves, they kept them in the underground here. Okay. So the careful ones will be kept at the market. Uh, but the market has been demolished, it's old, uh -huh. and it's broke, everything is broken down. Uh -huh. So this is the only one left here. I see. And then we will go inside. Yeah. When we go there, there are seats there. You uh -huh. can sit down, uh -huh. and I'm going to briefly explain it to you there inside. Okay, cool. And if you have any questions, you are free to ask me questions. Oh, great. Thank you. Wow. Oh my gosh. You should put me this. Wow. 
Wow. Oh my goodness. I'll just shoot you. Okay. Oh. Okay, so like, my name is Abdullah. Uh huh. And they call me Alaji, Mr. Silver. Okay. And like I said, it was my father, but now it's me who is yeah. taking out the place. Okay. So like that, right now, we are in the dungeon here. Mm -hmm. They kept them here for about 50 people will be here. Wow. And they'll be out for 50 people. But inside, yeah. they have a solitary confinement room. Oh. And this solitary confinement room, just like it's a small cell. Mm -hmm. There are metal bars across inside the wall. Mm -hmm. When they are kept there, they were just about to kill you there because of there are no food, no ventilation. Mm -mm. About 50 people here, 50 people here, four people each room. Mm -mm. And there, this is upstairs mm -hmm. and downstairs. And there was a floor here. Mm -hmm. This was sealed. Even in south here, nobody can be able to get upstairs. And it's very, very low. Yes, Before it is. Then, our people were taller and more energetic and very strong. Yeah. So this is why they are kept in the underground here for 14 days. There is about two weeks inside the underground here. Mm -mm. And then men and women, children of 9 years, 12 years, all of them will be here like sardine. Mm -mm. These small holes there, this is where they throw their food for eating. Mm. And when they throw their food, it's like survival to be just a scramble. If you get more power than me, you want to take the food, then they push you and then you get the food. So that's how they do them, but it's not easy for you to get the food there because they just stand them as animals. Mm -hmm. And then there was iron door there, they would close this door. Right. So when they close this door, here was seal. Right. And this is dark here completely. They only have the ventilation and the food comes from there and the light also because it's completely sealed. Yeah. This is a tunnel here also. There was a stream pipe connected to the river Gambia. Mm -hmm. So when the river is high tide, it normally have the water here. Uh -huh. When it's low tide, it doesn't have the water. So the mm -hmm. slaves only have to drink when the river is high tide. Sometimes here, the river will be floating here. Mm -hmm. All here will be floating of water. Mm -hmm. The water will come to their knees, to their waist, sometimes to their neck. They mm -hmm. inside the water here. Defecation, urine, toilet. Everything here, they end up having cholera epidemic. Some of them became blind mm. because it's very, very dark here. Not mm. only this tunnel here, but they also dig here mm -hmm. below the river level. When the flooding comes from the river, it mm. always floods here. Mm -hmm. So all here will be flooding of water. Mm -hmm. The water will come to their knees, to their waist, sometimes to their neck, deep inside the water. Whilst they are here, all of their hands will be suckled. Mm -hmm. This. They suckle their hands mm -hmm. and their legs too will be chained. These mm -hmm. are original ones from Bolton, England. Mm -hmm. You can see the writings here. England, Bolton, here, England, Bolton. But there are a lot of these suckles here. Mm -hmm. But this place was not been fenced, you know. This is the only house which was here. So the children come here, they steal most of these suckles here. And then we leave it only this one here now. Mm -hmm. But when they are chained here, when mm -hmm. the slave ship arrive at the slave market there, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. the market has been demolished, like I told you. Mm -hmm. It's old, they broke everything down. That's where they kept the comfort slave. The aggressive ones are kept here. Mm -hmm. When the ship arrive there, mm -hmm. they will come for the aggressive ones here. Mm -hmm. And they remove this chain from their legs mm -hmm. before they take them to the slave market. They take them upstairs to look at their weight. Mm -hmm. Men, if you have 90 kilo, 100 kilo, 150 kilo for the men, they mm -hmm. take you to the ship. Mm -hmm. And for the ladies, your tits and your breasts. Mm -hmm. The more younger you have, mm -hmm. the more healthier they used to take for the ladies. Mm -hmm. So if they are taking them to the slave market, just about 50 meters away from here, mm -hmm. there is a place called Liberation Triangle Freedom Tree. Mm -hmm. And the tree which was there has fall down, now they put another tree as a monument and this was done mm -hmm. by the Peace Corps volunteers and with the town committee members here. Mm -hmm. So if you haven't escaped from them here, mm -hmm. then you run to the tree, then you hook this or you touch it, they brand you. Mm -hmm. They put this iron brass inside the fire when it's very, very hot. They stamp it on, onto your arm, to your mm -hmm. back or to your arm. So they will brandy you and they register your name. Mm -hmm. When they show you can with the brandy mark, mm -hmm. they will no more catch you to put you here again. But which means that you are free but not completely mm. We're still going to work with them mm. to go and help them to catch water black before them bring them here yeah. or some dead bodies here. You pick them up, throw them at the river for the fishes and crocodiles. Mm -hmm. and those are weaker ones, they give them beans for one week later, two weeks later. If you don't have 90 kilo, 100 kilo, you don't take it for the ladies, your teeth and your breasts. That's how they used to take them. But it is not easy for you to run to the tree and touch the ship door. They have the guns and dogs. Mm. So it's like a sort of a game, like a spot for them. Mm. They are upstairs drinking alcohol, laughing at them. When they are running to the tree, the dogs can buy them or they can shoot them to their legs. Maybe one or none of them will be escaped with that tree. Mm. 
flag again. This is 16 and 17 centuries mm. and stop at 1807, the last last abolition 1823 mm. when they last abolished it. But the Arab people first come, this is the trans Saharan slave trade. Mm. When they came, they said they want to come and introduce Islam. Mm. But whilst they didn't do that also, they were also making some people here as slaves. Mm -hmm. They transport our people to the European because the European before they don't realize to come to West Africa here. Mm -hmm. They go to India and catch the Red Indians there. Mm -hmm. So the Red Indians were not very much strong. Some of them get sick, some of them get die. Mm -hmm. And there was a Spanish man called Bishop, he's a mm -hmm. European. This man is from Spain. He went to the European and tell them that before you buy the slave from the Arab mm -hmm. or you go to India, it's good it's better you go uh, or oh, you go to India, or mm -hmm. better you come by your own self in West Africa here because the West African people are very strong. So this is how the Portuguese come, the French, English, New Zealand, they come okay. as the transatlantic state. state. And when they came, they also made us our own black people here. Yeah. We are making some kind of slave. Mm -hmm. This is domestic slavery within us. Our people we are doing this thing even now. Some of our families are doing it like this. Yeah. And when they go, you know, we have it like, you know, John Konda, Foria Konda. You have your own slaves. For yeah. example, you have a naming ceremony. You can call your uncle's children to come and work for you and do some domestic job. Mm -hmm. After doing this job, you might be giving them clothing, some food and some money. That's mm -hmm. what our people were doing. Mm -hmm. And by then, our people were so engaged, they were not using money, they were drinking palm wine. Mm -hmm. There was no religion when they were drinking palm wine. When the Europeans come, they bring the spiritual wines, mm -hmm. brandy, whiskey, rum, that's what they give it to them. And because of that, they became drunken and they were not using money also. They were doing some bad system like you have rice, I have granite, I give you rice, you give me granite, or you have a cup of rice, you mm. take it to the they mm. give you some beef or sardine. Mm. Also, they were using some cowry cells, if you have that 350 cowry cells or 500, they can let you to free one slave, but for you to have that, it's not easy to do from the sea. Mm. That's what they tax them and they fool them, then they take our raw materials here, our gold, our diamond, our metal, our bronze. Mm. They take it all of that from them here mm -hmm. and then take it to Europe. When they take it to Europe now, they manufacture it and they make it like a lot of mirrors. Mm -hmm. So when they bring the mirrors, show it to the kings, the kings will make on their traditional dressing and they have never seen themselves, they have never looked at themselves. So when they saw the mirror, they became proud of that. In such mm -hmm. a case, they give them a lot of mirrors, a lot of spoons, knife, glasses, gunpowder, sugar, alcohol, mm -hmm. and they do butter also to get most of this food, mm -hmm. butter also. Mm -hmm. Because our people were not using money also, they were using cow cell and butter. Mm -hmm. So that's how they do to them also, they do through butter, they get slaves. But some debtors, those who let the kings, you don't pay them cows, jerrys, they make you as slaves. Mm -hmm. Some of the criminals also, they make you as slaves. Mm -hmm. So there are many ways which they used to keep the slaves and transport them. Mm -hmm. But like those days, in those days, you know, they don't take our youngsters, the young people, they don't take them to school to be traveling, to, to be training them to have a respect and to be big heroes, no. But they take them to post school to circumcise them there. Mm -hmm. So to be having their manhood, to be having respect, to be big heroes. So before coming out of the circumcision, they will tell them to go and hunt an animal like a bat or a wild animal. Mm. You catch this animal without, without killing it, without wounding it. Mm. When you are catching this animal, the white people know that there are circumcised children in the bush there. Mm -hmm. They will also go there with their traps, with net, with dogs. That is how they catch people like Kunta Kinte. Mm. But I'm not saying that Kunta Kinte from here, I'm giving an example. People like Kunta Kinte mm -hmm. were kept in this kind of underground dungeon here. They rebel on one, they don't want to be slaves. Mm -hmm. So that's how they catch them here. Because here is an island, is surrounded by water. Mm. Our people before mm. can swim. Even now, our old people cannot swim. Mm. Maybe some of the youngsters can be able to swim, mm. but some old people those days cannot be able to swim. That is why even now we have a prison here. Mm. There is a government prison here. The government have three prisons in the Gambia here. My two Jews one here. Mm. But this prison here is more dangerous because you do with hard labor, go to the firewood ground of field, rice field, all these things you do it here. Mm. And because it's an island, people from Senegal, Guinea, they do buy them here, they bring them here because it's an island, they can swim to escape. Mm. That is why also there is a slave house here. Also. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, because why here there is a slave house, uh, this island also is called Fort George. Mm -hmm. And why is called Fort George? After the abolition of the slavery here was a military base, that's why they call it Fort George. 
So from Fort George here, the ship will take them to James Island, that is in the Gambia here. Mm -hmm. From James Island to Gore Island in Senegal, from Gore to other African countries, Sierra Leone, Liberia. Mm -hmm. And then they will take most of them to South America, Baltimore, and Caribbean, like a triangular slave trade. Mm -hmm. West Africa here, Europe and America. So most of them die on the way going when the ship is taking them. According to history, they said about 10 to 15 million slaves has been taken from West Africa here to Europe and America, estimately. Mm -hmm. But some say it's even more than that, 20 million or 30 million or 50 million even. Mm -hmm. Because some slaves die here, some of them die on the way going and they throw them in the river for the sacks and crocodiles. Those who died on the way going, they don't count them, they say estimately 10 to 15 million slaves. Mm -hmm. That is how when the slavery is about to finish, some of the English people, they realize that they want to come and stop the slavery, but these people were missionaries people, they call them Methodists. Mm. And these missionaries, they come, want to bring the Christianity, also want to stop the slavery. Mm -hmm. And when they came here, they built a church here. Mm -hmm. And this church is the oldest church in the sub sahara here in West Africa, built in 1821. This church is still here, mm. but, you know, by the mission people, by the Methodists mm -hmm. in 1821. Mm -hmm. The structure is still normal. They only take the roofs out and the plaster in. But the original structure is still now. People do the service there still now. Okay. But it's the oldest building, it's a church here by the mission people, by the Methodists in 1821 in the sub sahara here in West Africa. Yeah. The one in Alpreda, that one is San Domingo. San Domingo is the first Catholic church. This one here is by the Methodist people, by the missionaries, 1821. When they built the church, now they said education is better than silver and gold. Mm. Now when they say that now they build the school here, and they build another school in Banjul. Mm -hmm. So these are the two schools in the Gambia here, Amitage High School and the Boys High School. But Amitage High School is the first school. That is why here was the first capital before Banjul. Oh. It was built in 1927. But those days also, they don't take all the people to that school. Not all the people used to go to that school, no. Yeah. But they only selected the main people like the king sons mm. to take them to that school, to educate them so mm. that when they learn, they can talk to their fathers and their fathers would not exchange our people by money. That's what they do. Now, people every government who are going to the school, almost 500 students are there in the school there. Mm. But they stay there, they don't go home. You okay. understand? So the one yeah. in Bainjul, yeah. that is the Gambia High School now, Boys High School. Yeah. But here is the first you know, school. That's why here was the first capital before Bainjul. Oh, wow. You okay. understand? Yeah. So that is how it was going on. But here, you know, it's having three names to this island. This island is having three names like Janjambure, Joytown, Makati. And why all these names came about? They name it after some other people's name. Joytown is the name of a white man. Mm. Sajal Magadi also is the name of a white man. From mm. England to Sierra Leone, Sierra to here as the governor and the administrator. Mm. But King, you know, Janjam and Bure were first brothers. They are the first founders of here, this island. Oh. They are local people from Yani and they used to come here and do the farming when they realized that the farming system here was very good to them yeah. and they were doing palm wine tapping and they were doing some hunting so Janja and Bray when they came here they separated, they scattered, mm. Mm. they split up mm. they run away, they split up so they name it from those people named like in Mandinka they call it Iboritale, a Janjanta Bure Iborita means Janjanta Bure meaning that you know they have scattered and they have split up so they name it from those people named, you know, like Janja mm. they are, you know, from first African, you know, who are from Yani, that's the North Bank. And this is Fula, the Fulani people are there, this mm -hmm. is the Fula people are there. Mm -hmm. The Yani is the Mandiko, this is an island here. Mm -hmm. So these people are coming from Yani to come here, those are the founders. Okay. Yeah. So, but you know, King George is from England to Sierra Leone, Sierra Leone here as the first governor. Right. And Sir Charles Magad is the first administrator here, from England to Sierra Leone, Sierra Leone here as the first administrator here. That's why they name it from those English people named Joytan and also Makati. So this is very confusing like when somebody asks you where is this place here? Janjambure yeah. and then where is this place here? It's Joytan or yeah. Makati. But the local people's name is Janjambure yeah. but the English name is Joytan and then Makati. Okay. Understand? Okay. So this is very confusing like when somebody asks you. Like that, slavery is still going on. Uh, yeah. I'm here to advise some students when yeah. they come here. Yeah. That's why we remove the floors. A lot of students are coming here for excursion. When they come, mm. let them make the best use of their education. Education is not like to go to school and learn and have the money. Mm. But to make the best use of your education, let nobody fool you. That's mm. the best education. Yeah. Because, you know, they can be ambassadors, they can be president, they mm. can be ministers. And the government can be sending them to Europe and America and they can have their dignity and they can call them sir or madam. Mm. But like when they want to be like that, some you know of the Gambians who go to this barbie and they sell their own Gambians 
to the Libyan people. Mm. And the Libyan people do this thing just to make slavery still now is happening. Yeah, they, yeah. They, they make our, our own people, the Arab people can do anything just yeah, to make Yeah, yeah. So some of the youngsters also, they come here with the grandmothers of Tuba, grandfathers of Tuba, they call them baby, baby, and then they want to marry them because the mentality is that the white people get the money. Yeah. And those people, they want to, they, 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 they term this, you know, white people as semi god Even our leaders term, term this, you know, uh, the white people as the semi god So wow. they follow them, and then these people, they are older than them, you know. Yes. You know why didn't they go to our own grandmothers here, here, yeah. here? But they have money, they are rich. Yeah. But they didn't go to those people to marry them. But these people are older than the people. Yeah. But even though, why didn't they do, do that? You know, They don't do it in Europe, in America. Mm -hmm. They don't do it in Europe there. Mm -hmm. they, this European, they are coming here. Mm -hmm. They fool our people. Mm -hmm. And then these people fooling themselves also. Mm -hmm. They follow them because when they show you now with the white man, mm -hmm. before they greet you, they will get the white man. Mm -hmm. So this is the main problem here, mm -hmm. the mentality mm -hmm. of our own people. Mm -hmm. That is why I'm here. My mm -hmm. father is a historian, I'm mm -hmm. also following the thing mm -hmm. to advise the student let them mm -hmm. make the basis of your education. Colors yes. in everybody. Yeah. I don't say that they don't marry to they cannot marry to them. Yeah. You can marry to a white, you yeah. can marry to black. Yeah. But you let him be your own age. Yes. You understand? <laughs> yes, I so, agree. You know, if I cut you now, the blood is If I cut me, if I cut the white man, this is blood is coming. Blood is always there. Colors yeah. in everybody. But yeah. all of us are involved in slavery. Yeah. So yeah. we cannot blame each other here. We blame yourself. Yeah. So like that, you know, your ancestors would have to come now, they would have to get it. Yeah. But it is still going on still now. Yeah. Nobody can know. Yeah. So that's why I'm here to keep this thing. My father he's here. Yeah. Let me show you my father's video. Okay. Let me stop. Yeah. Uh, uh, and then uh, you have to beat you. So uh, some of them it's like that. You cannot just stand to your board. No. Yeah. So just down. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, and here too the same. About solitary compound, we have about four people here. Yeah. When you are kept here, they were just about to kill you because they put you in these small cells, mm. they put you in this metal bars, they tied you there. Oh. And most of them died here because no food here, no ventilation. Yeah. And then two people here, two people here. This door will be closed, and this is upstairs, right. and this is downstairs. Right. So there was a door here. Yeah. So when you are here, it's just like by killing you. Yes. And even here, just by killing you. But here, it's like, no, you don't have no food. Mm. Only these holes, they can give you food. And that one also, they will throw it. Mm. Then they scramble to get food. So viable of Yeah. If you don't get more power than me, then you can they fight each other. Mm. Where's this, you know, like that? Yeah. And this one is money. You see, old here, flooding comes. Yeah. Not only the tunnel here, but they dig here. Below the river level, and when the food will come from the river, it will always float here. Wow. So the water will come to their knees, to their waist, and then to their neck, yeah. and they be inside the water. Yeah. So the vacation unit, everything here, they end up having cholera Good. epidemic. Some of them became blind because it's very, very dark. Mm. Uh, first of all, I would like to introduce myself to you. Mm -hmm. My name is Keva Sado. We are from the same town development community care of the place and to welcome the place. Mm -hmm. So on that note, I would like to say welcome to you. Oh, thank you. So as you see, this is freedom tree here. Yeah. So this tree here, it is not the original tree. The original tree which was here died a long time ago. Oh. So we by all men to replace another one. Okay. So we replace this one on the 21st of September 2002. Oh. So during the colonial time, yeah. the original tree which was here, Slave masters will be here. Yeah. They will ask the slave to run all the way from the slave market there. Right. To run the family. Yeah. So they will ask them to run all the way from there to come here and throw the tree of all the British flag mm -hmm. standing there by the free tree to have their freedom. Okay. But it is not easy. Yeah. Why it is not easy? Because this place was guided by the British soldiers. Mm -hmm. And those soldiers, they were armed, mm -hmm. they are having guns, mm -hmm. they are having big dogs. Mm -hmm. So slaves will be at the Slave market there, mm -hmm. they will be running with their chains, they will be dragging with their chains. Um, they will come and touch the tree here for the British flag. So it is not easy for them to touch it because if you want to come and touch it, the government they shoot you to death. Mm. And the dogs they chase you to bite you. Mm. It is not easy. Mm. 
and during the 15th and 16th centuries, mm -hmm. this island had different names. Mm -hmm. Because the first name of the island was Lemon Island. Mm -hmm. And from Lemon Island, it was called Georgetown, mm -hmm. which was named after King George IV. Mm -hmm. Because we have three kinds of fort. Yeah. We have Fort George, Fort Blaine, mm -hmm. and Fort Campbell. Mm -hmm. Fort George was located here. Mm -hmm. Fort Blaine was located at Bara. Mm -hmm. and Fort Campbell was located at the other part of this island called Kumani. Okay. And from Georgetown, it was called Makati. Uh -huh. Which was named after Sir Charles Makati. who okay. was the governor and chief of British West Africa. Yeah. Because he said 1834 to 1854. And from Makati, now it is called. Janjambo. Mm. they were two brothers. Mm -hmm. Janjang and Bore. Mm. Janjang, the local language is separate, mm -hmm. and Bore may be wrong. Mm -hmm. It's named Janjambo. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. The reason why the place is very triangular for me mm -hmm. because during the time last year, the native in the front of the tribe, mm -hmm. they had been good from Africa to Europe, mm -hmm. Europe to America, mm -hmm. America back to Africa. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's why they make it in the front of the tribe. Okay. What they take from Africa, they take height and slave from Africa. Yeah. Only to Europe, yeah. Whereby they take guns and all the minerals, mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. whereby they take gold powders and tobaccos, mm -hmm. and back to Africa. Mm -hmm. That's why they make it in the form of a Okay, and that's why they take the use called a triangular city. Okay, okay. So, when they call it, this are now this big three here, the black one, it was here since three years ago. Okay, yeah. Okay. Yeah. And in the colonial time, these are the people who are not the original pillars. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, uh, the iron pole. Ah. Oh, oh, I see. They are, they are the original pillars. Oh, okay. And in the colonial time, when they are transporting the slave to Europe, America, the sugar plantation and tobacco plantation, this is the handcuff they are using. So, there were many here, but all the after the abolition of the slave trade, all yeah. the other chains were packed together. Yeah. They were taken to the mansion. Okay. From their mansion. Okay. Yeah. So this one is for the males. Yeah. When they are transporting them to America, mm. sugar plantation and tobacco plantation. Mm -hmm. They tied rope on their neck and tied rope to somebody's neck and attach these things to make a form of chain mm. to go to Europe, America for sugar plantation and tobacco plantation. Mm -hmm. So this one is for the females. Yeah. Like how the male are. Mm -hmm. So this one is for the small kids. So this one, when they touch the tree or hug the British flag, they put this inside the fire mm -hmm. and turn them. Mm -hmm. They make stamp on their left hand or mm -hmm. on their back, any part of their body, mm -hmm. like a tattoo. Mm -hmm. So that when they go, mm -hmm. they see, they see the, this sign mm -hmm. that this, uh, this is a free slave. Mm -hmm. so Yeah. People and events that serve this community. Yeah. This significance explains of the island, the natural and cultural heritage, mm -hmm. reflects our community, value, identity, and pride. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We just flat past it and very short of fire. Mm -hmm. So we are so with fire. The seven men was named after King George the fourth. The town was named. to record the rest because my phone got really hot in the sun and it just wasn't having it anyway so this is the rest so that's where I was telling you that's where I stayed here and then this is the new building that's being built there and then I showed you guys there was a room there this is here where you have your food breakfast lunch dinner that's for the kitchen obviously that's not for you guys and then we've got all the grounds here look this is so beautiful and you've got the river here and then there's the boat I think there's some monkeys are the monkeys still there yeah, there's monkeys oh I think they're going in the they're going 
I don't know if you can see them. Yeah, look, 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 look. There's the monkeys. There were four of them. I hope you guys can see them, you know. See, see? Look, look, look. Oh, and there's some in the tree. Let me see. Ay! It jumped so quickly. I didn't even catch it. I didn't catch it. Yeah. Are there more? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's some in the tree there. Up. I can't even see. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Down here. Up here. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, there's one here. You see? Nature. You see nature. Oh, oh there's the donkey. <laughs> Yeah, so here it is basically and down here is so lovely and cool if you want to swim you can swim not me all because I can't swim someone needs to teach me how to swim so anyway I'm going to a boat trip to go and see the hippos and the chimps and what else birds dolphins hopefully anyway it's like after seven yeah, 7.30 now, so we're going now. All right, y'all. I'll see you in a bit. Bye-bye. On the boat trip. Okay, I'm on the edge like this and just feeling like we're all on this side <laughs> oh, is okay. yeah waiting for a hippo I feel like David Attenborough we are on the gap of a gambe I am David Attenborough and we are waiting to see the hippo we must be quiet
Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I just saw it, but I can't get it in the... Ah, uh, there. Yeah. He's trying to eat. the room I stayed in it is a1 <laughs> of a for Aisha <laughs> so here we are so it's obviously it's a oh hold on let me go nice and clean you've got like your basic kind of things obviously your bed i would say it was very comfortable i slept on there last night very very comfortable i put the um mosquito net out and i just felt really comfy you've got a fan above your bed that was really nice as well gave me some nice air got a little table here and for any smokers you have ashtray and then here let me see if the Hi, because it's solar, you see. Got solar here, and then you've just got your regular, just your your toilet, sink, and then shower in the corner. And it had um, good pressure, so I was able to shower very easily, and I was very comfortable. Also, I don't know for those that might be bothered about mosquitoes, as me, as myself, I had some one tiger, which is like. Oh, I can't. I think it's gone. But anyway, it's like this incense thing that you use and it just keeps them away. If you don't want to sleep with it, then you don't have to. You can put it on, put it in just before. They'll put it in the room for you just before. And then you can go in afterwards and like out it if you don't want to put it in there. And then it will be fine. It will last for you for the whole evening, especially that you have the mosquito now. So that's it. I'm going to make my way home soon and then I'll close out the video. So I hope you enjoyed it and if you have any questions or like to know how you can stay here then do ask in the comments and I'll respond. I'll put all the information down below as well so you know how to get in touch. Alright guys, thank you very much for watching as usual. Love you. Bye.